Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. You probably already know by the title, but I need to get it together desperately. We need to deal with this. This is nothing new though. Formal next week. It's just school's crazy right now. I'm just feeling it. You know, I'm just having one of those weeks. Anyway, you get the gist. Welcome to today's video. I got new glasses. They're from Pear Eyewear and they're actually sponsoring today's video and I really want to show you guys how cool they are. These look like you're just regular classic clear glasses when you first see them, but they actually are magnetic and you can switch out what they look like. I'll insert some extra videos here on the screen so you can see how the magnetic top switching feature works, but essentially you can just pop whatever top you're feeling that day on the base frames and it's like you just instantly have a brand new pair of glasses. These are my base frames. The style is Murphy and I got them in the crystal clear color because I just feel like it's a good neutral option. And then I got three tops, the white, the tortoise, and then the sun tops. These are my favorite ones because I don't have prescription sunglasses and I always have to think about wearing contacts when I don't want to wear my glasses and I don't have terrible vision but especially when I'm in class or just walking around campus I'm just asking myself why don't I wear my glasses more often and with these I can pop on the black sun tops for my walk to class and once I get there I can just pop them right off and I have my regular glasses again I just think this is the coolest thing all the tops and the glasses are easy to store in this case I'll also show you guys the tortoise ones because I didn't show you these it just pops right on there and you just instantly have what feels like brand new glasses so they all magnetize onto each other it's so satisfying and you can just slip them in the case. They gave me a code to share if you guys want to get your own. You can use the code on the screen. It's Miss Katie 15 They have tons of options and prescription add-ons. They have blue light glasses, premium plus, and a virtual try-on experience. So you can see what you'll look like with the glasses on on the website. It's also affordable and I just think it's such a cool, fun concept. So I'll leave all the links you need down below in the description box. Again, you can use the code Miss Katie 15 on the website. And thank you to Pair Eyewear for sponsoring this video. I dressed up a little bit for class. I'm wearing an airy button-up thing polyester bodysuit and Levi's jeans and Adidas. When I get anxious about my to-do list or just about anything, I'm afraid. All I can see is that in the back. When I get anxious about an overwhelming to-do list or just day-to-day -day anything, the best thing that I do for myself is take things one step at a time. And it's hard to do that when you can just see all that you have to do. You get overwhelmed easily, but it always helps me to pray. It always helps me to just break things down, put them in order of importance, take things one step at a time. So even though I really want to clean this mess, I know that my school stuff is more important and I can come back and clean this later and I won't have the same energy I do now to get my school work done later. I'm just gonna go somewhere and get work done. I had a fun good morning which was nice to just get my mind off of the to-do list stuff. I went to early core power, showered, washed my hair which is always good feeling. Then I got nails done. I got OPI bubble bath. I tried to go a little more neutral because I don't know for sure what dress I'm wearing yet. I was kind of last minute with my dress selections but I ordered two and they're supposed to be here Thursday. No, today, tomorrow's Friday. The dresses are coming on Friday. Hopefully one of them works. If not, I'm probably just gonna have to scramble to find one in person. I could wear this dress I have from Rush, but it goes down to like my shins, I wanna say, and I think everyone's doing long dresses, so I'm crossing my fingers that the dresses work out. I really do like both, so I'm probably just gonna go with whichever one fits me the best. I also placed an order from Abercrombie because I won my family's March Madness competition and there was a cash prize. So, thank you Yukon. This was what I spent it on. I saw Hallie Sandberg on TikTok wearing these shorts and I loved them. I loved how they're longer, cover everything, and they look really flattering, so I'm excited to try these on and ha hopefully they'll be like a good staple summer short. I have the Levi 50 Levi's, sorry, 501s. I've had those for a while, a couple summers now, and I don't think they fit me anymore. My butt literally hangs out, and so it was time for new shorts. Also got a very basic white tank top because it was on sale. And then yesterday was mine and Matt's two year anniversary and we said we weren't getting gifts for each other. It's such a gift in itself that we get to see each other and we're both spending money on that. I got him this shirt because we were on spring break and I was like, oh, bring a nice shirt. He's like, I only have one, whatever. Like he could not care less about having anything expensive. Just, he's a very simple guy with his wardrobe. He's not the type to go out and buy himself clothes ever. So I thought I'd get him this because it's trendy and he can wear it for our dinner date. I think that's all for the updates. I just want to say thank you guys really quick for being so supportive and kind. I truly get like the most amazing loving comments and I'm so 
unbelievably grateful i don't say it enough and just filming for the past what 15 minutes has eased so much of my anxiety i just feel like it's so awesome that i get to have this creative outlet and that i get to share my life with you guys and be real and doing that is such i don't even know how to explain it it's just such a cool thing for me that almost feels like an escape i don't know if that's the right way to say it but i just love sharing my life with you guys and i want to thank you for being here and just always tell you how grateful I am because it wouldn't be possible without you. It's been forever since I've updated. I've been on my computer for way too long working, but I finally finished my last thing. I sent my last email and there's more I could do, but I'm just like, I need to cut myself off because I've been on my computer like all afternoon, but I'm all done. I feel like I have to update you guys on everything from the day because I was really only filming time-lapse videos. I got a bunch of work done here cleaned up my room which i really needed to do went to young life for a little bit which was good because i haven't been in so long because we had song fest practices and so it was good to be back there i literally ate chips and pizza for dinner i had costco pizza at young life and this is what i was just eating i just feel like i've been everywhere today i took like a crazy amount of steps i will never forget coming to college the first week and the amount of steps i took every day just getting around campus going the places i needed to be i was just beside myself because i think i took like 25,000 steps one of my first days i was averaging like a stupid amount of steps that week also like who knows how accurate this is but allegedly i took 17,000 steps today i need to get ready for bed because i have to be up for my 8 a.m tomorrow and i'm so so tempted to skip it because i just don't think we're doing anything massively important. I think my professor's just gonna talk about the assignment because we have this big annotated bibliography. It's like a two-part thing and that is like the majority of what I was working on today at the library. We've been ending early and I just really wanna sleep in but I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go because I feel like if I don't go then my whole plan for tomorrow will be thrown off. I'm gonna get up, go to my first two classes and then go to F45 at the rec. I'll be four for four with my workouts for the week if I go to F45 which just makes me feel really good about myself and honestly just more energized and focused when I work out. I think I've talked about this all the time in previous videos, but I really think it has a lot to do with my ADHD and it's almost like a natural, I want to be careful about how I say this because I'm making an allusion to this. It's like a natural medication. Why does my hair look like this? Something is going on with my hairline. I don't think my part is even. There's the ADHD. I just got distracted by my part. I was just going to say working out does what my medication does for me basically and so i haven't been taking it and i'm just really trying to be consistent with my workouts and i was gonna say there's a lot of things i love about boulder and there's also a lot of things i dislike about boulder but one of the big things that i love is just how active and outdoorsy everyone is you're always gonna see people outside riding bikes just working out and there's a plethora of fitness studios and places to work out all over the city and it just keeps me really motivated so i have something else to talk about but i can't remember what it was i was gonna try on my stuff from abercrombie i really want to see how the shorts look dun, 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 dun. i really like these i like where they hit i was kind of iffy at first like thinking they were going to be too long but i think they're a good length i'm feeling gross about my hair i feel like every time i wash it and i don't blow dry it always dries funky i think i maybe could have sized down in both of these i got a 26 in these and they're kind of stretchy, but I think they would be too tight if they were 25. And then I also got a small on the top and I maybe could have done an extra small. But I'm glad they both fit. And then Matt's shirt that I'm not supposed to be getting in. I'm going to try this on too. Successful Abercrombie haul. Also, speaking of Matt, look what he sent for our two years. Dun, 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 dun. I'm really excited for these to blow. Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. It's gonna be a great day. I'm brushing my teeth really fast and then I'll be off to my first class. 
I brought a bar to eat for breakfast and I'm wearing my new hoodie. I don't know if you guys remember, but I spilled eyelash dye on my old Amazon hoodie. It's like an Aritzia dupe, I think. So I replaced it, but it's when I feel really coordinated because of my outfit matching my nails. Okay, I gotta hurry up. I'm consistently late to this class every single time it happens because I cannot bring myself to get out of bed till a certain time. Also, I have to show you guys these trees. It's hard to see from here, but they're just filled with flowers. I just didn't really expect to love the spring as much and to have such an excitement for warm weather. I'm getting better at vlogging around campus with like the four weeks we have left. I have these long walks to class, so I should really vlog more, but I feel like I stick out because I'm holding this big A camera. <laughs> Look at me go. It's easier in the morning because there's like no one out right now. Here's more pretty trees. It's supposed to be like 75, 76 degrees this weekend, so everyone is pumped. This class is in the dungeon. It's like the very basement of this building. <laughs> if there was literally any class not to go to, it was the one I just went down. We were just given a whole working period. We could stay if we wanted, leave if we wanted, literally do whatever. And I so could have skipped it, but oh well. Anyway, I came to the library, rented a room because I have some voiceovers to record, so I'm just gonna try to make good use of this time. And I got a chai. I'm almost done with it, but I'm super tired, so I really hope this brings me a little bit of energy. I just so could have skipped that class. Whatever. Anyway, I went, and that's what matters, and I'm gonna get my work done. I have this annotated bibliography for that class that I really need to work on because it's gonna be a million pages. I'm actually really excited about the topic, though, because I'm doing it on parenting styles and how it affects... I guess I should get more context. It's a research essay, so research slash argumentative, and my whole topic is gonna be about, like, parenting styles and how it affects a child behaviorally, and I just think it's so interesting because there's nothing more... I want to be than a good mom one day because I have such a great mom and I just look up to her so much and I want to do what she did for me for my own kids one day so I just think it's super cool to research it and see the stats and get to have creative freedom because I'm not a great writer unless I'm writing about something I'm interested in or something I guess without restrictive boundaries and that's something I really do love about this class I don't love it because it's at 8 a.m. it's very repetitive material like I was saying last night kind of feels like a high school class because it's so small but we have so much much creative freedom and we get to do like whatever we want with our writing. I don't know about what it is about this week, but it's just so work heavy. I just finished at 45, it's 12.10 and I'm gonna go grab lunch really fast. Probably have to grab them and go. My legs are shaking, but did it. Okay, haul time. I got two massive boxes to pack stuff up for the storage unit. I definitely am gonna need more, but for now. I'm starting with these two. I have to explain that whole thing in a second. Basically, my mom's gonna be here for like half a day to help me move out because then we have to go straight to Texas. I think I talked about it briefly a couple vlogs ago. We have to go straight to Texas for my brother's graduation and to move Allie out. So I'm gonna try to be really proactive about moving out slowly that way it's not gonna all hit me at once during finals so I got those I'm gonna start doing that today I think I want to go and drop like two boxes off at the storage unit tomorrow and then a bunch more stuff when Matt's here because he can help me lift like my skis and just the heavy stuff because I realistically do not need like half of the stuff I have clothing wise winter stuff I'm not gonna need any of that over the summer in California so it will live in the storage unit until mid-august here's what I got for lunch my favorite, edamame, Sandwich. cucumber salad, Sandwich. and da, 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 a sandwich. <laughs> this stuff. Almost oh, said. good job. Thank she you. almost said a bad word. The shredded lettuce. Yo, that's my stuff it's right there. It's so good. That is my stuff. How was your formal? Kira had formal last oh, night. It was really fun. Great time, good people. Yay. <laughs> good <night. laughs> I'm freaking hungry, you guys. Emily, how's your day? Good. Nothing special. Also gonna drink my favorite drink, a strawberry vanilla Olipop. Cheers. A bunch of the stuff going in here is stuff from Big Little. Eventually when I have a little, I'll get to pass down a bunch of the stuff I got. And I'm also making a very detailed list of everything in the boxes. I'm gonna label them so I know where everything is. Cause if you know me, you know I have a tendency to be forgetful. And I just can totally see myself in the summer being like, oh my gosh, I lost this. I have no idea where it is. And it's in the storage unit. Most of the stuff is also coming from underneath my bed. This is terrifying. Does anyone remember the Snoo vlog? Or the, it was Snoo, but it was Wig Manu. And I wore this purple wig. That is so scary. Box number one is done. I already have a trash bag started over there. I'm gonna 
tape this up but it is a hot mess in here and my friend delaney is about to be here she's gonna try on one of my dresses to maybe wear for her formal it's this one i wore it for prep night during recruitment so i'll be right back i'm gonna go get her good news delaney loved the dress and both boxes are packed this is the second one i'm gonna take them both i think tomorrow morning i've been listening to my math class on zoom and i need to do some like really quick housekeeping things before i go to class feed the flowers i'm so afraid that i'm gonna go somehow be unmuted i'm gonna replace the brita filter because we have one left and we haven't done that since coming since i think before christmas break and then feed these flowers i love them so much and i don't want them to die i'm going to do everything i can to keep them alive as long as possible and then just do the dishes as far as the rest of the day goes after that probably gonna get dinner somewhere and then we have a mixer tonight i don't know if i'm gonna go though i'm like kind of on the fence still i think i'll probably just go for a little bit and then come back just to see everyone but i really need to go to bed early because i keep going to bed way too late so we'll see I feel like I'm hitting a midday slump. Like I'm tired all of a sudden. I think it will be good to get outside and get in the sun and have my walk to class. Because this class is farther away. It's a little bit more of a walk. So I'm hoping that will wake me up a little bit. Also, I don't have a hair appointment until like mid-May. My hair is looking a little dark. But I don't want to go to another hairstylist. I love the girl I go to in California. So I'm willing to wait. I threw on this jacket and I'm off to class. And I'm saving a chomp in here for later. Look who I just ran into on an electric scooter. <laughs> I've never doubled on a line before. Wait. So put one of your foot on like the back of that black Okay, thing. hold on. I normally do like my left foot. Yay! <laughs> We're done with classes. I loved my last class. You're gonna love it so much. Really? Yes. The light in here is so pretty right now. I just got back. Kira's mirror is making everything look pretty. Okay, I was having a little bit of an outfit crisis earlier, so I didn't vlog, but Ryan came to the rescue. Nice. Maya's trying to get me copyrighted. Ryan has a plethora of hair products that I'm really jealous of. Most important being the Day Dry Shampoo. I just used it for the first time and stop. I know you're gonna send difference. a photo to Sally. I just put it in my hair yeah. and it made such a difference. It's good um, because it doesn't make your scalp itch. Mine makes my skin. Yes. Really? Mine. My well, scalp's super that, sensitive. Mine always just gets like rubbery. The one that I use, yeah. Ryan gets mad at me wait, for because can apparently I give you it causes head cancer. Yeah, wait. Let me <gasps> give you guys. Let me Is give it you guys a lesson. Yeah. Yes. Oh gosh. So wait. So really everything you put in your scalp is gonna go straight to your brain and your bloodstream. What? I because your skin. Th no, I promise. This. Everything. Blood, right? Everything that goes on your skin is gonna right. seep through your skin. Yeah. It's just how it is. I was using this because I was like, this has good ingredients. Literally, one of the first ingredients is alcohol. Why would you Are want you to? Serious? Why would you want to put alcohol? It's flammable contents. Oh, um, that's so lame. Like you don't want. Why would you want to put flammable? I can't on even your pronounce hair. these ingredients. Exactly. This My mom said the Gimme brand is really good and non-toxic. The first thing is butane, and that is like so flammable and so bad for your hair. Why would you want to put that on your butt? Day is good because it's a powder. See. <laughs> It's amazing. It's a powder. <laughs> Did you make the thing? Why are you upping it so much? And the less ingredients is, the better is your hair. This cornstarch, root extract, water. So we could probably make that ourselves. 100%. Or orange peel oil. There you go. Now let's meet the user of the other dry shampoo. <laughs> it's cheap, it's affordable, and it's at your local gas station. Listen, if you're a college student like me and you are in desperate need of dry shampoo, <laughs> go to your local 7-Eleven and get this bad boy. It uh, just it does the job right. But also, guys, I've had this. <laughs> oh I've God. actually had like, this. Whoa! Since January. I got it in January, <laughs> and it's like a third of the way done. So much for me going to bed early because it's almost 1:30. But I just spent the last little bit cleaning up my room from my wardrobe crisis earlier because I couldn't figure out what to wear. So I was like panicking, throwing things everywhere. The mixer was super fun. They had a live band. And those events, like the ones that are specific to DG, are always just so fun because you're with everyone you know. I wrote down to talk about the registration stuff so I didn't forget because I have to register for my classes at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I also haven't worn mascara. Like I haven't had to take off my mascara in so long because I haven't worn it in forever. And it's because of my lash tint and lash serum, I think. I'm getting a spray tan next week. So we're doing a spray tan sisterhood thing for DG. I'm doing a whole formal vlog with the prep and everything, so stay tuned for that. But I was gonna say, I'm just a little bit concerned about my classes. I need to go back up on the website and check again one more time because I know registration is closed for today. There's not even that much to break down. I just can't get into this one class, so I have to find other options or just take less credits. I need to fulfill these two prerequisites in order to move on to the next, in order to move on to like upper division classes, essentially. So I was just 
stuck in the middle of trying to figure out what I was going to do tomorrow. They said they might add, because there's so many students who need this one class that filled up, they might add a second session. So I'm going to get on the wait list and just hope for the best, I guess. I just want my registration window to pass and to just be done with everything so I don't have to stress about it anymore because I've been pulling up the class's website every day to look through and see which ones I need to switch out because the classes that I had previously wanted had since been filled up. The hat is dependent on whether or not I wash my hair. Take two, I just filmed this, but my music was too loud. Happy Friday. We went to the storage unit just now. We're on our way back to campus and it's so warm outside. It's 72 degrees currently. The storage unit was quite, I should have vlogged it, but I just didn't. It was really janky and we couldn't get the lock in. It took us like 10 minutes. It took Ryan 10 minutes, but I couldn't do a thing <laughs> to so get the lock working. It's all but we did it. Touch. It's just a five by five unit, so it's pretty small. It's like a good size. It'll be able to fit my skis yeah, and headboard okay. and everything. We're gonna have a great happy Friday and campus. Oh, I think so. Probably. Wow. I've never seen it. It's kind of pretty. The battery's about to die, but I'll keep you guys updated. I don't even know if I'll need to vlog that much today because I was yapping to the camera so much yesterday. So we'll keep you updated. Woo. I am so happy it's the weekend. This week has been so much. I don't know why. And it seems like that's it's been that way for everyone. I think it's just busy yeah. getting to the end of the year because we're so close to finals. Look at that. Ugh. It's this so is, pretty. I think it's actually the first time I've ever gone by East Campus. It's Sunday night. I'm finally filming the outro of this vlog. I wanted to do a cute little weekend montage, but it just didn't happen. But I did not want to end another video without filming an outro. So I'm here to film the outro and give you guys my little Amazon haul for my lash tint stuff because I'm going to tint my lashes tonight. Also, I decided on a formal dress. I tried on both of them. I'll show you guys both of them. But I will share the one I decided on in my next video. It's going to be all about formal. Anyway, this is what I ordered from Amazon. It got up to like 77 degrees today. It was so warm out. And it was really nice. I've been doing a lot of work today. I went to church this morning with my friends. I don't know how to get this open. It's been a good Sunday. I'm about to go throw my laundry in because I really need to wash my sheets. And it's crazy to think that I'll only probably do laundry two more times in here after this load. First thing I got were more whitening strips. And I also got these for tinting my lashes like I was talking about. I got my tint from this brand. And it came with one set of these lash pads and I could buy them from this brand again for the same price as buying them in bulk. So I just bought them in bulk on Amazon. So I have a bunch for any time I wanna tint my lashes or tint my friend's lashes or anything. I don't know if I would tint my friends. I'd be really afraid to mess up. But now I have a bunch of these. I think there's like 50 in here. So I'm stocked up and I'm also stocked up on spoolies. I was gonna wait and just do this when I started filming the next vlog, but why not? So this is the first one. I'll insert the TikTok I posted. I tried them both on to get everyone's opinion and the majority consensus seemed to vote in favor of this orangey coral red, just this, this strapless one. It's so pretty, I love it. Matt has a yellow tie and I don't wanna buy a new tie because it's just like not that deep to be matching. And we wore this yellow homecoming senior year in high school, so I just told him to bring the yellow tie. And I really love this one too. I'm just gonna save it. I'm not gonna return it because it fits well. And it was honestly just such luck that both of these fit and that they were both good contenders because I feel like it's so hard to find dresses online that fit, let alone ordering two and they both work out. So I don't know, maybe I'll go to a wedding one day where I can wear this, just some kind of event because I don't want to get rid of a good dress that fits because it's really pretty, but definitely the consensus and my own opinion was to go with this one. I'll link both down below in case you're looking for a prom dress or just any kind of long dress. Beginning Boutique has so many cute ones. They're not sponsoring this video, but as you know, pair eyewear is. So I want to thank them again for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing, happy week, and I will see you so soon in the next one. Bye guys.